Okay, we're just going to take a, a Mojave uh, rattler out <clears throat> and show you how you can pick them up with a pair of tongs. You've got to always keep your hands away from everything. Stay out of strike range, whatever that, whatever you think it is, add some to it. As you can see, he's already trying to get stuff. <clears throat> Beautiful snake, but what we're going to do is reach in and get him not, not on his head. You never want to directly pick up on the head. I try to get him about mid-body if I had a choice. That way he balances a little bit better. And just gently set him down in the, in the trash can. You don't have to be crazy fast. Just take your time. And that's probably a three, three and a half foot snake. So with a 40 inch tong, I can, I can pick him up pretty easily and be at, at a good safe distance where he can't get to my hand. Anytime they're longer, six, seven feet, whatever it is, just go, go back 18 inches, you know. Then he only comes up to tong 18 inches. You got 40 inches before he can get to your hand, so you're still safe. And this is much better than using a hook. A hook is more of a manipulating tool. Um, it's something you can maneuver the snake, manipulate the snake, but to grip hold and keep him still, I can teach a child to do that to where a hook would be a whole different story. But that's basically all you got to do to pick up a snake. <clears throat> That's, that's a very dangerous snake, but with, with a, a tong like this, you can keep it very simple, very safe. People have these things show up on their back porches, garages. I mean, it, it goes on all over the, the world, actually. But we have it in the United States and some of our lower states, Arizona, many different places. They have lots of issues with rattlesnakes. When we've moved into their territory, we love these cool houses out there where we can live, but... These guys are never going to go away, so you need to learn how to work with them, not against them. Teach your kids not to, not to mess with snakes and that they may be around if you're going to live in that environment. So I'm going to grab him back up. We'll stick him back in the cage. As you can see, he's ready to go. I mean, he's, it's game on for him. He don't want me messing with him. So I'm going to try to, once again, I'm going to get on the other side of this coil and try to get a little bit more mid-body on this three-foot snake. That way he'll balance out a little bit better and ride on this long, this bigger tong, this gentle giant tong allows him to have more surface area on his body. <clears throat> and if he gets loose, just re-grab him. <clears throat> and that's it. We're safe again. He's safe. Everybody's happy. The snake's alive. He's out of your yard or out of wherever you don't want him. That's it.